In this video we're going to look at adding decimals. So here's an example, 7.2 plus 14.3 plus 2.75. Whenever I, if I was adding these uh, decimal numbers, what I would do is I would use the column method, and the most important thing is making sure that you line up the decimal points. So, 7.2, 14.3, 2.75, Notice I've lined up the units, the 7 and the 4, and 2.75. Okay, notice that the decimal points are lined up. Also, if there's no numbers here, I tend to just put a 0 there, just to ensure that I keep in the place value. And then you add them up. So 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. 2 plus uh, 3 is 5, plus 7 is 12. So put the 2 down, carry the 1. Uh, decimal point, make sure you put a point there. 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 2 is 13, plus 1 is 14. Carry the 1, and 1 plus 2 is 4. So the answer is 24.25. So let's have a look at another example. So 0 0.75 plus 2.106 plus 8.2. So again, I've lined them up, and I've made sure the decimal points are in the right place. I'll put a decimal point here, just make sure you don't forget it. And if you want to, you can add zeros on to ensure that the numbers are, you know, they keep in the right place value. So 0 plus 6 plus 0 is 6. 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 1 is 8 plus 2 is 10. So put the 0 down, carry the 1. And 0 plus 2 plus 8 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So put the 11 down. So the answer would be 11.056. And in our final example, this time we have got 8 plus 4.5 plus 2.91. So again, line up the numbers. 8 would be 8. You could put the point 0 if you want. 4.5 and 2.91. I'm just going to put the decimal point in the 0 after 8 because 8 would just be a point 0. And actually, let's just make them all the same length. So we've got them all lined up nicely. So 0 plus 1 or 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1. No, 0 plus 5 plus 9 is 14. Point down, carry the 1. 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15. So the answer would be 15.41.